someone seems to be roaming wild. This is someone who has no closure with you, has no clarity. This is someone who is yet to be honest and truthful with you. I feel like this is someone who is yet to set their intentions, but I feel their energy is starting to change. Someone's having a change of heart when it comes to your energy, yet they're still filled with a space of bitterness, possibly even anger when it comes to you. Not wanting to be let go, someone knows they're running out of time. There's no harmony because of the distance and due to the lack of an apology, there's no forgiveness. For many of you, this is someone who's been very elusive, tricky when, when it comes to their energy. Their energy is roaming wild. This energy is coming out as a free spirit. Someone who is always up for the challenge and always doing things from a very risky state of mind. I feel this is someone who is now feeling the consequences of third party energies. The cause and effect of being in an illusion. I feel this is someone who is skewed in some type of way. There's an imbalance when it comes to their cloudy judgment. I feel this is someone who is also open when it comes to dark attachments, third parties, influences, peers, hmm. illusions, where they're still pretending something is a misunderstanding. Someone wants you to believe something is a misunderstanding when it comes to them being dishonest or elusive, but I feel it's only because of their cause and effect, their karma, that someone is sidetracked when it comes to their state of mind. But even though I feel this energy is confused in some way, I do still feel they're open when it comes to others judging them. They're confused, unclear, infatuated, still going through addictions. I feel this is someone who's very compulsive, not used to taming their ego or their emotions. Something is very unfamiliar when it comes to how they're trying to deal with something. So they're conflicted. This is someone who is conflicted, shallow, blank when it comes to their superficial ways, but I feel their lack of loyalty has led them to a space of despair. Where something is sinking or they feel hopeless when it comes to something. Someone knows there is no trust, no dedication. Someone was rebelling when it comes to you. But I feel now this energy is completely exhausted. Not only by their losses, but the sacrifices that they have had to go through. I feel this is someone who is exhausted, depleted, fatigued by something that is unspoken. There's a lot of regrets when it comes to lost words or even disappointment where someone is going through grief because of a loss of a second chance. I feel this is someone who knows that there was a lack of energy when it comes to them. This is why they're conflicted because they know they gave you less than what you deserved. Yet due to these losses and sacrifices, someone also knows they may not have the second chance. Someone's in a deep sense of regret for pretending. Pretending that there would be no consequences or even pretending that they didn't care about the damage they caused or even losing you. I feel something has become deja vu when it comes to the truth that they held back, the lack of closure, or the fact that they were withdrawn and full of resentment and pride. Because deep down they know they crossed the line. I feel like this is someone who wasn't prepared for you to let go or something you did or said. They were too stuck in this illusion, pretending. Pretending not to be conflicted. Hmm. But this is someone who is going through a lot of deja vu. Deja vu when it comes to karmic lessons, repeated patterns, past life energy. I also feel there's deja vu when it comes to memories, whether guarded, apprehensive and also afraid, in fear, wanting to be receptive. But this energy is lacking when it comes to death. This is someone who's lacking when it comes to the depth of their soul, their spirit, their energy. They're not fully aware of what they should be, all because of their pride, their ego, and their unwillingness to change. But I feel the connection that was once had with you, he's left them curious. Hmm. 
and dealing with unfamiliar feelings that they didn't expect to have. I feel this is someone who is thinking about the closeness that they had with you, but their pride is holding them back when it comes to admitting a truth. They're just sitting in a space where they're emotionally damaged or going through an emotional whirlwind where they're completely affected, dramatic, and unstable. This is why things are falling apart, things are sinking, because someone is dealing with their karmic lessons, all because of their lack of death and repeated patterns. Hmm. Someone wants you to be receptive the way you used to be. Thinking about a confession, but this energy is still concealing things, hiding things, being secretive, causing tension, and also upheavals. Hmm. This is someone who is avoiding you, blocking you, trying to escape, pushing you away, even though they long for you. This is causing more stress and tension. But I feel this is someone who's dealing with being elusive when it comes to love and loyalty. But I feel what they missed with you was unconditional. But now that things are frozen and someone knows they pushed you over the edge, this could also be the final straw when it comes to how they chose to deal with you. Yet what they didn't expect is to have let time get in the way. This is someone who's conflicted not really knowing what to do with how they feel about you, but also knowing they may not have a lot of options. For many of you, this is someone who is missing you so badly that it hurts. As it seems, this energy may be having a mental breakdown, a mental breakthrough, whatever it is. This is someone who is very regretful for underestimating you. I feel like this is someone who is regretting the fact that they underestimated your ability to figure some things out as I sense this energy is stressed out now. Mm. Mm. Wow. This energy is stressed because they pushed you in a position to question everything. Their love, loyalty, the help that you gave. Mm. Wow. I feel like this is someone who is now questioning a lot of their actions but still holding on to a sense of pride and ego because they still don't have the position to give you anything. They're still taking risk. This is someone who is still taking risks that leave you to a space of feeling suspicious, uncertain when it comes to their energy because they never put in the effort. This is someone who is stressed out knowing they broke your heart. But this is someone who is just not being loyal or committed, but this is someone who is bold when it comes to putting in no effort. This is why they're stuck, and this is why they're embarrassed, humiliated, because they know they missed out on an opportunity that has now left them full of obligations. Something is just unmanageable when it comes to someone who is now dealing with a lot of consequences, loss, and sacrifice. This is someone who knows they were being petty by being false or fake, but I feel that's all that they could give in the energy that they were in. Hmm. As I sense, they always find a way to disappoint you in the end. I feel this is someone who always seems to disappoint you, but I feel there will be some type of justice, some type of fairness when it comes to something that is being concealed. Something that is being concealed by someone who is being stubborn to communication, compromise. They're indecisive. Hmm. Yet I sense their lack of confidence is the reason why there is separation and divide. This is someone who broke the bond with you. And now they're on a cycle that never ends because they're too stubborn to be flexible. Too stubborn to be truthful, honest and upfront with you. This is someone who is too stubborn to recognize how they neglected or stranded you, abandoned this connection, being careless, offensive when it comes to past trauma. I feel this is someone who is very protective of their facade. Hmm. This is why they pretend that they're not destructive when it comes to their behaviors. But I feel their misdirection of their anger is a direct result of them not dealing with their pain. I feel like this is someone who's still offensive, someone still sitting in an illusion, still being careless when it comes to a third party energy, where they're pretending to be uh, oblivious, unaware, blind, clueless to their secrets. 
This is someone who is pretending to be ob oblivious to what is hidden, and they're still holding something back. I feel this is someone who is holding something back out of strategy, still trying to manipulate something, but this is someone who is still going through a lot of deception. I feel like in some way they're still in an illusion, which is in opposition of you. I feel this is someone who is stagnated, and I feel that is of their own choice. And there could be a sense of paranoia. This energy is suffering from loss, mourning. This is why someone is missing you so bad. It hurts. Wow. I feel like there's a lot of loss and suffering when it comes to a risk taker who is always seeking thrills, hmm. being reckless and caring about no one, not even so. This is why something is unresolved or there is an abrupt change. Wow. I feel like someone's shocked, paranoid, Knowing that you are a true seeker, someone never thought that you would be dodging them, avoiding them. Hmm. But I feel for many of you, you're just dealing with the hand you were dealt. Hmm. Because now you're going through some type of renewal, re revival, a resurrection when it comes to your soul, your spirit, hmm. your connection with your ancestors. They're paranoid about that. Someone is paranoid about you finally seeing your truth or either finding your path. You're coming out as a truth seeker, someone who is discovering or finding a truth no matter what. I see inspired action when it comes to you. You are very determined energy. This is just a season where you're learning and growing, and I feel this is only adding to your wisdom as your trials have only strengthened you for what's to come. For many of you, there could be some communication when it comes to this energy, but don't expect a lot of compromise because there's still some confusion and uncertainty when it comes to their energy because in so many ways there's still uh, a lingering energy of betrayal and them being careless because they're still unaware and pretending to be clueless when it comes to their lack of effort and the fact that things are simply falling apart someone is emotional because they know when they abandon you they abandon a true blessing now they're trying to cope with trying to pretend to be happy with what they have now. I feel this is someone who was being very fearless when it comes to their actions. Now they're embarrassed by the situation they're in or even embarrassed by a third party. Yeah, that sense they could be stressed out, feeling humiliated, knowing that they could be stressed or stagnated, possibly for life. I feel like something cannot be undone. And if so, not so easily. Someone's going to really have to put in the work, whether that is making amends in their life or just being a better person as a whole. But I feel in so many ways, someone is distracting themselves by coping with things in the worst way. Someone could be trying to drink their pain away hmm. because you're invading their, their mental, their mind, and they're trying to cook something up. Hmm. Someone's trying to cook something up because they're wanting to plead with you, but they also feel that that won't work either. So they are very emotional behind the scenes. Someone's emotional because they know they're hurting the most because of this unfinished business, the soul tie, where someone once had some deadly words for you. Now they wish they could take it all back. But I feel their actions, their behaviors, how they treated, treated this contract with you, this soul tie with you, had a butterfly effect. And this energy is just in a space trying to deal with it. Trying to deal with the mess that they have made through rigid games. But I feel many of you have already had a good feeling when it comes to someone who had a lot of skeletons in the closet. Because now that you see their true colors, the aftermath of a situation may have made you cold as ice. Someone feels like you don't care about love anymore. Or they feel like you don't care about love with them anymore. This is why they feel you're cold as ice or forbidden fruit. Yet this energy is still holding on to the possibilities that you'll love them the same. Somehow, some way. Mm. 
But I feel there will be a tower moment where someone's going to have to see the truth for what it is. Hmm. No shame, no glory. Where someone is definitely guilty as charged for what they have done and what they have said. Because many of you will have the last laugh. I feel like many of you will have the last laugh when it comes to this energy. Because I feel what is broken is now being healed. Hmm. For many of you, this is something this energy can't get off their mind because this is something that was supposed to be in their life or in their energy. But due to their choices and their reckless ways, they fumbled the bag and lost everything. Because, as I said before, this is someone who is notorious for pushing emotional buttons and testing your energy and your boundaries. Yet, I sense they're emotional or going through a space where they're wanting forgiveness because they know you didn't deserve the pain they put you through. Yet, and still, they can't admit to themselves that they are the ones who brought you pain. As it seems, this energy has always found a way to dismiss or distort the truth, causing you to be more mindful of what you say or how you deal with this energy or even compromise, as their lies and disappointments have always taken a new low every time. And even if you cared before, it's just not enough to continue this harsh and painful cycle. And the fact that many of you are not letting something slide is the real reason. You're going to have the last laugh. Let's get another deck out here. This will be the final deck, you guys. Of course, if you are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. For this energy, they feel like you either don't care about love anymore or you just don't care about them. Because they think about the passion in you all the time. But there is also guilt for all the skeletons they now have in the closet. I feel this is someone who has more debt than they had before. As it seems, this energy had one goal and two ways to do it, and they just chose a dark path. But I feel this dark path is awakening their fears through unplanned events, as this is someone who is trapped because they're out of sync when it comes to hiding their feelings and not protecting their heart. I feel this is someone who is ego-driven, over romanticizing this runner chaser dynamic I feel this is someone who's going through a lot when it comes to their parties and their addiction to toxic shit because in so many ways this runner chaser dy dynamic definitely amuses them in some type of way because this is someone who is always up for the chase but I feel they're always repeating cycles and b because they're always repeating cycles this is why you're always getting no respect. Even if they love and care for you, it's not enough to put this person in the energy of knowing they should be doing more for you. But I feel due to the lack of respect and their repeated cycles of never truly showing you love, many of you just had to move on from what you feel you are owed. Because this is someone who just might not be someone who can give it to you because they are always testing you causing something to be lost when it comes to a breakup or a separation because now this energy is blocked mentally physically respectfully this is why this is someone who is sitting in a space of regret because there's lessons to be learned when it comes to someone who is always doing things out of convenience this is someone who's going through some lessons when it comes to convenience and being a false twin flame something is being awakened or this is someone who's going through a lot because of the fact that they are unawakened unawakened to their so-called loved this is someone who lost their identity through the differences because now something has definitely become intense I feel this is someone who is always repeating cycles, causing something to become intense when it comes to the differences because they lost themselves by being unawakened to love, always giving half of what is given to them or even nothing at all because they're always up for the chase, never really realizing they would lose the race 
as they never thought that their toxic ways would somehow build you in some way as it eventually taught you to do so much better without them. Final energy here, you guys. Final message here for a mistake. Just someone who is trapped because they are out of sync with self, hiding what they truly feel. But I feel something is about to be awakened when it comes to what they're trying to hide. When it comes to emotions, relationships, weaknesses. This is someone who is has a lot of weaknesses when it comes to instant gratification. They're always hiding something. Which always keeps them out of sync. But I feel their fears are about to be awakened when it comes to this tower moment. Something's about to be awakened when it comes to someone who is trapped and out of sync. Someone who chose a darker path. Not realizing that it would be a path that they will soon regret. Final message, Holy Spirit. For many of you, I feel like this is someone who fell into a sense of pride, believing that they were going to get all that they seek. Now there's a sense of silence and remorse, as everything has backfired, all because they thought you would suffer without them, never expecting that they would be the ones lost and in regret, and still trying to find a way to make you feel a sense of loss and regret. All because they want you to feel bad for your distance or even accepting the silence because they were too busy pretending it is what it is when they truly wish things had never changed. I feel like this is someone who is going through some major losses trying to figure some things out where I sense their major losses is bringing something major their way. Blessings surrounding you and they know it. Someone wants to reconnect because they're wanting to stand in position when it comes to what they know they're missing. Where I see you gaining back with the fact that they're trapped and dealing with some tower moments is the reason why they won't have access to you. Hmm. So there is distance between the two of you only because of their weaknesses and the fact that they like to do things out of convenience. Someone has created false hope, which is causing a lot of damage and creating them a space where they're now a false twin flame. A false twin flame who is stuck in limbo when it comes to their commitment issues. I feel this is someone who also has control issues that is keeping them bound and harder to understand and even love them as this runner is always justifying their harsh treatment or behaviors. But I feel they're soon going to be awakened through some small challenges and some losses when it comes to love. As this is someone who is at a crossroads when it comes to highs and lows, a cheating heart, where I sense a resolution or a resolve won't be easy. I also feel like there is unexpected events, a climax, where someone's going to feel like they're going to want to just pop up, pull up when it comes to you. I feel this climax is definitely going to have them in a headspace where their misery runs deep and they miss you more than ever because even if they hold some type of bitter energy towards you deep down I feel they still want to break through with you I feel like this is someone who wants a breakthrough I feel they want to break through with you but I feel compromise is just not part of the plan I feel something is a waiting game when it comes to the possibilities of a turning point with this energy where I sense this separation brings in cycles of manifest manifestation for you. So for many of you, I see cycles of manifestation, cycles of change after a separation where something was a waiting game. But I feel due to you seeking and believing in the possibilities, I see you activating something within self. I see you activating something within self that not only pushes you or propels you into a different position or destination, I also see you being able to help those around you. 
And if that's not direct help, I see you inspiring others just by being around them. I feel you're manifesting, activating your soul through self-care. And I see a lot of detours that are causing something to be perfectly imperfect. Hmm. I feel something is coming your way that is unexplainable. That is going to cause all of this from the past to be just that. The past. As I see you surrounded by bigger and better things and walk into a sense of celebration where you're gaining back more than you lost. So I sense you should continue to stay open-minded on this journey as I sense it is a battle you are not expected or intended to lose. Because from what I can see, this blessing has only caused detours. Detours that has become a hidden blessing. As I sense, the Most High is about to bless you in abundance so you can continue to be a blessing to those around you. As you are already on the hearts, <clears throat> as you are already on the hearts and minds of others. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.